Fez wouldn't be Fez without the music. It breathes life into the world and helps you connect subconsciously to the themes of each location that you visit. Some locations have no music, and this distinct choice makes those areas resonate strongly as well, but most of the game has something to listen to. What are these tracks? What exactly are the moods that they are enhancing? Legend rolls over you in waves as the game opens. It calms you, brings you into the state of mind you should be in to play Fez. It also has a slight mournful quality to it as it approaches its non-existent conclusion. With the name it has and the fact that it plays at the title screen, it makes it seem like the events of the game are a foregone conclusion, something you can only bear witness to even as you have an active part in it. Or maybe it refers to something in the game. Many places are sealed away, one of them could certainly be a legend among one of the villages. Perhaps we'll never know. Home is the theme of your starting village. It's a comforting, friendly theme. It has a happy innocence to it that makes it appealing. It's small and self-contained and doesn't echo off into the open air as if there's more to discover. As far as the village and the track are concerned, this is everything in the world, and it's always refreshing to come back to, no matter how far into your adventure you are. Reflection only plays once in the game, when you first leave the starting village and are on your way to the ocean hub. It is a long track, and one that you'll barely notice, but it exists to mark a transitional state. By virtue of hearing this track, you are leaving the confines of your life, where you were safe and confident in everything you knew. Things are already starting to change, and you can never go back to being the person you used to be, living the way of life you used to live. The second half of the track is a soundscape of the ocean, slowly approaching as you get further and further away from the village and closer and closer to the main hub. With how long it takes to fade in, it makes it clear just how far removed from the starting village you are, and just how large the world before you is. Compass is the theme of the Ocean Hub. You stand at a crossroads to many different areas, not knowing what to expect. The track resounds in all directions and stays open throughout. It encourages exploration in any direction you choose, yet also has a certain lazy quality to it that allows you to feel okay with just sitting down and staring off into the reverse sunset. Age is a slightly haunting tune that plays in the prehistoric village. It's a slow track calling into play just how old the village is, as the name implies. I encourage you to listen to the full track yourself, as it tells an interesting story of the history of the cave people, how they lived, and how their lives were forever changed. Forgotten plays in the area past the bell tower. The area looks incredibly similar to the cavemen village, with larger, flatter structures than the more cube-based geometry of most other areas. It's a theme of regret, 
mourning these places that may have been important once, and while they still stand mostly intact, have been left by the wayside. Puzzle plays unsurprisingly in any room that explicitly relates to a puzzle. It's a clear indication that exploration time has ended, and now it's time to think. The constant note staircase evokes thought. Like the classic Escher painting, it encourages looking at things in a new perspective. The melody that plays over it slightly reminds me of some of the music from the logical journey of the Zumbinis, but that might just be me. Nocturne has a slightly distorted sound to match the slightly distorted visuals of the Neon City. It almost sounds like rain, but like it's constantly phasing in and out of normal space. It has a generally more melancholy sound, yet high notes interject every so often, much like the clear blue sky interjecting on the darkened landscape, disrupting the otherwise consistent aesthetic. Spirit plays in the waterfall area. Like a playful spirit, it has a pleasant lilt to its melody, speeding up and slowing down, rising and lowering in volume, teasing you to explore around and find the various secrets that the area holds. The nighttime version especially gives it the sense that the stars themselves are watching and guiding you. Formations, echoes in the mines. This echoing isn't just because of the surfaces that the music would be reflecting off of if it was playing in the world. It implies that the mines are far more expansive than the area of them that we travel through. The music plays from multiple directions, as if there are different creatures each contributing to a single song, with one in particular providing a fairly haunting refrain. The base that intrudes halfway through represents the human force, tunneling deeper, attempting to extract whatever it can, until everything dies. Beacon is the theme of the lighthouse area. The main chord coming around once every few bars is not unlike the revolving light of a lighthouse, never letting you forget it even as the track seems to end multiple times, only to come back once again. Like Compass, it has that perfect tone of laziness that makes you want to float along endlessly to it.
progress plays throughout every area of the industrial zone. It's an incredibly dense track with many different elements. It represents the many tiny moving parts that contribute to make a complex machine work. All the sounds together get quite loud, as if to simulate the overwhelming nature of technology in modern society. The high octaves also contribute to the elevation of the area, feeling like you're one step away from just flying off into space. Majesty is the ancient village's theme. It has a quiet beginning, but quickly breaks into its full volume. The triumphant nature of the track not only helps you feel accomplished for having found the people who have clearly built the structures you've been exploring, but also instills a sense of awe at these villages, so much more advanced than you. Flow plays in the sewers, which is slightly odd, there doesn't seem to be much of a flow of anything down there. The music complements the visuals, and may have even been specifically designed to fit them, rather than any sort of theme provided by the location. This track is much more playful than others, and is one of the only instances of percussion, though incredibly light, in the entire soundtrack. Nature follows you as you climb the great tree. It's a quiet track, and the way most of the notes fade away almost immediately matches the feeling of being in a shaded wood with sunlight filtering through the leaves almost perfectly. The track is unmistakably there, and it does reveal the life that the tree holds, but it's also in no big hurry to throw it in your face until about halfway through when things start picking up. Fear is the music of the graveyard, and the music of a growing thunderstorm. The main refrain of notes playing over and over reflects the nature of the pitter-pattering rain, while the bass that crashes in after a while brings the harshness of lightning and thunder. The minor keys create an unsettling mood throughout, like you shouldn't even be there. Death can be heard in the place of death as you solve the mystery of the mausoleum and swim through the blood sea to collect your precious artifact. 
The constant bass and minor chords convey a sense of menace, and you will be spending enough time in these locations to fully recognize it. You are not welcome there, so take your prize and leave the dead to their slumber. Memory is the tune of the ruined village. It has similar chords to Majesty, emphasizing the connection between the two locations. However, these are played much slower, and while they reach great heights like Majesty, these fall back down, as if failing, dying. Obviously, the ruined village looks similar to the ancient village, but was it really just the previous village that they abandoned? They look almost identical, and it's called Memory, which suggests that this has some connection to the past. Are they really two separate locations? Or did somebody in this world discover the secrets of time and space? Knowledge only plays in the academic buildings of the ruined village. It has a similar sound to Puzzle, as both entice you to think. As well, this is one of the loudest tracks at its normal volume. It's overpowering, like the information surrounding you could swallow you whole. You are there to learn, and this track emphasizes that fact. Beyond is a fitting name, as it accompanies you through the Stargate and up towards your final goal. The distorted bass that plays throughout most of the track makes you feel small, just like the visuals. The occasional sounds of a transmission burst emphasize how far you've traveled. The high notes of the eventual melody convey the still far off stars and planets in the universe. And everything collides into a cascading waterfall of sound that is designed to impose a feeling of pure awe at the true scale of the cosmos. Continuum is an arrangement of Chopin's Prelude Opus 28, No. 4 in E minor. The composition has no official title, however Hans von Bülow gave it the title Suffocation to match the sense of despair. The piece was played at Chopin's own funeral by his request, and it's almost universally recognized as a theme of death, which fits with the way the world is breaking down into nothingness as a result of Gomez's failure to reconstruct the hexahedron. 
The irony in pairing this piece with the upbeat victory theme for the ending is almost certainly not lost on Disaster Piece and Phil Fish. Pressure is named for the mounting tension as you climb to the top of the foundry. It's the sound of bubbling lava creating an impenetrable wall pushing you away. It has a similar dark, foreboding sound to death and fear, however there's less menace than those two, and more dread and resignation. It has an echo that makes the foundry feel endless, like you have almost no hope of making it out alive. Sync is named for the platforms which appear and disappear in time with the music. It is, perhaps, the most energetic track in the game. The percussion is prominent here, as a means to keep the beat. Similar to the secret area of the mines being a complete aside, the music doesn't have much of an emotional theme or deeper meaning, it's just a fun track that exists to propel you from platform to platform. Glitch is a weird track that is actually a remix containing elements of every other track in the game. It would fit in an area that, say, visually was composed of other parts of the game, but there doesn't seem to be any such place in the game. Based on the name, maybe it's supposed to play if you encounter a glitch, but there are no glitches, so we'll never know. Adventure is the theme of the credits. The names of this and Legend almost seem like they're the wrong way around, where this should play when you're just beginning your adventure, and the latter should be played when you have completed your adventure and are a legend within this world. But with the tone of the two tracks, this fits far better as an ending, especially after the ending sequences. It's a theme of success. It's music that plays that reminds you that you've accomplished something. And as it plays, it encourages you to think back on the places you visited and the tasks you performed to get all 32 or 64 cubes. It's probably the most self-affirming track in the game. Love. It plays in one location, and is the most warming track there is. It's not friendly, it's not menacing, it's not ambitious, it's simply warm and loving, cradling you in its embrace, making you want to stay there forever.
which is why it hurts so much more when it stops.